I just think they're eight. I'll tell you that. That's the best we got. Dread. You know the sound. When you turn the shower off, when you hear a leaky faucet at your kitchen sink, uh, cooling, after a cooling rain on a summer afternoon like today. But I'm not here to talk about that. It's a drift. Drought, recovery, irrigation plan. As many of you heard, in June, the Bureau of Reclamation announced that at a minimum, 2.2 million acre feet we're going to have to be saved off the Colorado River. That represents a 30% cut of the water uh, that's delivered uh, down the Colorado River by the Bureau. Um, as a result, ag along the river communities has come together and created a plan that's going to save one acre foot per irrigated acre proactively that saves almost 625,000 acre feet. That plan should be applauded and lauded by everyone in this state. Unfortunately, though, it only represents two thirds of what we need to save in Arizona. This is where DRIP comes into play. It's a partnership between growers, irrigation districts, and municipalities. Three things that have not played well together in the sandbox over their history. You laugh, but it's true. Yeah. So through this program, it's going to put to better use high efficiency, high efficiency sprinklers, center pivot irrigation systems, drip, and emerging tech that is just on the cusp of being released out to the general market to save more water in Arizona agriculture. It's a very simple plan. I'm a simple man, it's a simple plan. The farmer decides what's best for their field, what they grow, they buy it, they install it. They get the entire thing reimbursed by either the irrigation district or the municipality. 75% of the water that's saved through that efficiency program stays in Lake Mead, right, to protect the river. The other 25%, the municipality or the irrigation district, gets to use how they see best fit. It's a win-win for everyone involved. Now, I know some of you know me and go, Robert, I've heard the snake oil. Jess, right? People always come in and say, I can save you water. Right? But these new techs, some of the new drip irrigation, 50% reduction in water, 30% increase in output. It's phenomenal. It's in testing. They're starting to move it to different crops, away from just cotton where they originally tested it. But it has the promise of great, uh, of being very advantageous. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Second one is now, it's high tech science, it's biotech for farm. It takes the algae on your own farm, where you're growing your crops, figures out exactly what's there, spins it up, puts it down as an amendment, and they're doing that right now out on the Tonopah, on alfalfa. I got to go out there and see it, it was amazing. They have been cut on the same day. A week later, it was this tall on this side, and it was up to my shoulder on this side. Time, I know. Because <laughs> I like hecklers. <laughs> Trip, the fear, efficient and effective program that saves wet water in Lake Mead, minimizing the likelihood of future catastrophic cuts. 